Welcome to the new episode of the Kościuszko Foundation online concert series, Quarantine Jazz. My name is Leszek Strzelecki and I'm your host. It's been a long break since our last program back in January of 22, featuring a Krakow-based uh, accordion player, Jarosław Bester. I won't dwell for long. Uh, why such a long break? Suffices to say, <laughs> Times have been tough lately. <laughs> Good news is we are back and we intend to stick for a while. Our guests today are two vocalists, one Polish and one Ukrainian. A singer, composer, a violin player originally from Poznań, Poland, uh, Karolina Beimczyk. The other one, a singer and pianist, originally from Ivano-Frankovsk in Ukraine, southwestern part of that country, now living in Wrocław, Dana Vinnitska. They are the founders of the ensemble called Babushki. Babushki, then, is a Polish-Ukrainian joint venture music project. Karolina and Dana share a passion for to find a common ground between the neighboring countries of Poland and Ukraine on a cultural as well as musical level. The band was founded in 2009. Its music is based on a rich tradition of Kresy or Borderlands. Old Slavic melodies receive a jazz setting linking traditional folklore with novel harmony. The sounds of acoustic guitar and double bass in particular are of a fundamental significance here. The band's repertoire then is the jazz interpretations of traditional melodies from various regions of Poland and Ukraine, where the underlying goal is to bring out similarities between the two cultures. Karolina and Dana are the singers of the band. The other core musicians in the band are pianist Jan Smuczyński, bassist Michał Jaros, drummer Bogusz Wecka, and trombone player Michał Tomaszczyk. A frequent guest collaborator with the band is a guitar player Rafał Sarnecki. Babushki released three albums today. The first in 2011, Kolendy and Szczedrywki, uh, loosely translated as just carols. Vesna, or Spring, in 2014. And the most recent one, released two years ago in 2020, Benjamin Shankranjili. We will be spinning around, I think, or circling, I think is a decent translation. Ladies and gentlemen, Karolina Bemczyk, Dana Winnicka, and Rafał Sarnecki on guitar. Enjoy the show. Jak mają 
We've been just listening to Karolina Bemchik, Dana Vinnitska, and Rafał Sarnetsky performing three folk songs from their repertoire. Karolina and Dana are now joining me from their residences in Poland. Karolina, I believe you are in Poznań, and Dana from Wrocław, if I am not mistaken. We are to talk about your music. Uh, welcome to the program. And Dana, on behalf of all of us here at the Kosciuszko Foundation, 
uh, please accept our words of solidarity and uh, uh, friendship and full support in your nation's struggle against the unspeakably brutal, barbaric, murderous war that Russia inflicted upon you. Russia must be defeated and may pay for its war crimes. Having said that, once again, welcome to the program. Thank you for invitation. It's a big honor to us to be here. Thank you so much. Let's start that conversation. Uh, tell us a few words about the songs that you just performed. What are they? Where are they coming from? And uh, well, whatever you want to tell us about it, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm ignorant here when it comes to folk music and probably our audiences are not very well versed in that genre of music. So we need some lecturing, please. Uh, we recorded uh, three songs uh, at the beautiful place in Warsaw. Uh, the place is called Galeria Prześwit. Uh, that is led by wonderful people who uh, really uh, enrich um, cultural um, environment in Warsaw. Uh, we recorded three songs uh, with Rafał Sarnecki, our great friend, uh, wonderful guitarist and composer. Um, and those three songs uh, come from uh, many different regions of Poland uh, and Ukraine. Um, first song um, is called Żali Moi Żali. Uh, the song um, is about uh, sorrow. And um, the lyrics um, are very typical for uh, Slavic uh, traditional songs uh, that are based on uh, describing the description of nature. Uh, and uh, you know when you when you talk, for example, about the forest, or you describe you know um, uh, weather conditions, and that is the whole metaphor for your um, experiences, for your emotions. So that's that is uh, Jali moi Jali. The other song, Pozić uh, mamo raz, uh, which. Uh, in order to translate it, I would need to know uh, very old English words because uh, uh, Slavic songs, traditional songs are usually uh, sung in, in the dialect. So Pozić Mamoras, the translation would be um, Tell Me Mother. Um, and uh, the song comes from Kurpia region. And, and the third song, Pada Deszczyk Pada, which means uh, ra rain, it rains, it rains. Yeah, it's raining. It's raining, yeah. Um, this song uh, is um, also about, you know, the weather conditions, about the, 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 the rain, uh, that kind of introduces the mood of the song and later on it talks about some uh, emotions. Um, um, so that 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 is what we recorded. Um, and the funny thing, as you noticed, is that uh, actually wonderful thing, as you noticed, is that when we recorded Pada de Pada, the actual rain started to rain. So um, that was kind of another yeah. instrument, uh, as you can hear. You know that the uh, this the sound of of rain um, at the gallery. So <laughs> we were like that, that seems to be. Uh, 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 typical when my wife starts watering a backyard flowers it starts raining <laughs> <laughs> now uh, Donna anything to add to that uh, we try in our music have a dialogue between uh, Polish and Ukrainian culture first song Jali Moje Jali it's Ukrainian lyric song uh, we feel uh, how nature explain uh, love a feeling in heart Pozić uh, Mamo Raz, this is a Polish song, and then I uh, sang Ukrainian song uh, between uh, relationship between two friends, women, and uh, in the song you see how they fighting and then fighting uh, and then find way to peace. And uh, third song, it's uh, 
traditional song, Vesnyanka, uh, very uh, special time uh, when people, after the winter, waiting for the spring, uh, and they go out and calling nature uh, came on the earth and calling sun and calling also rain. Rain in the song, it's a kind of uh, uh, power of catharsis. I don't know how to explain a bit better in English, but uh, it's... I think we're getting a point. Yeah, it's show how we need to be uh, clean and open to new day, new life and a reborning. Uh, right now, uh, when we sing Vesnyankas, I uh, think about Ukraine. For me, it's uh, kind of spiritual uh, music right now, more than before. In this way, I praying about my country, about uh, our way to reborning uh, like an independent and strong country in a peaceful world. Yes. Now, uh, is there uh, some geographical uh, boundaries for the music that you do? Is it limited to Slavic, Ukrainian and Polish or there are also some other ethnic roots, uh, traditions of the music, folk music in that area that typically we call Kresy or the Borderlands? Actually, our songs come from specifically come from Poland and Ukraine, and we try to um, never have any previous ideas about it. We just try to, you know, give it a new life and sing it in our own way. Um, so that is uh, for us very important to just uh, let music connect us. And um, together with our friends from, from our band, I think that uh, this is all common for us, that we, the, we, just, we just take the songs and we try to make something happen with it. Um, mm. So uh, uh, obviously, because we have, uh, we, we played with many, many different wonderful musicians and we are inspired by many different countries, uh, many different cultures. Uh, therefore, um, you can hear even uh, on our last album, uh, inspirations uh, we got from India, Indian music. And there is a special guest, Nishant Shekhar, uh, uh, on uh, one song. So I, could, I would say we, we, uh, we uh, search for inspirations from both of our, our countries, Ukraine and Poland. Uh, we try to find some nuances from uh, specific regions um, that, that the songs come from. But if it comes to arrangements, ideas, our feelings, it all we are inspired uh, by many different uh, places uh, around the world. I get the impress strong impression that beginning with Ukrainian and Polish folk traditions, you really focus on uh, bringing about and uh, deriving those things that are mutual and similar between different nations. So you want to be inclusive rather than nationalistic or chauvinistic, excluding others. And that now goes beyond just Polish and Ukrainian traditions. Uh, you just said uh, even India is included and there could be uh, some others. But that, that is a very strong and very important point. Let's unite all people of the world. Now let me slightly change the subject. Uh, how did this all begin? How did you start this ensemble of yours? I won in 2008 scholarship from Polish Minister of Culture. And then I met an amazing musician from Poland to be cooperated. One of them uh, was uh, Michal Jaros. And then Michal Jaros uh, 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 sh how to say it, uh, present for me Karolina. And Introduced you to Karolina. Thank you. And what? then 
Carolina invited me to her AP. Uh, we sang to carols and we were so excited of this cooperation and decided to uh, work together. Uh, and from 2009 we were uh, looking for the opportunities to um, understand and discover each of our cultures deeper and show this common uh, sides and at the same time uh, so surprised how different we are. Uh, for me it's very important that in 2021 uh, centuries we still uh, remember our roots because in our um, unique soul we are interested to the whole world. Uh, I'm interested to the whole world like Ukrainian girl and Karolina interested like a Polish girl and uh, we would like to share our beautiful music and this dialogue uh, is continuous and we enjoy it that so much. Each other concert, each other rehearsal, it's a huge celebration to us. Hmm. Now you don't want to be called the leaders or co-leaders of this ensemble and rightfully so in a way because you have uh a number of excellent musicians introduce them to our audience um of course our friends our musicians um, are amazing and it's a pleasure now to to uh, focus a bit on them because we, without them it's uh, nothing would exist in our project and it's uh, jan smoczyński who plays on on piano um, Michał Jaros uh, on double bass and Bogusz Vekka on uh, percussions and Michał Tomaszczyk uh, on, on trombone. But I would like to add that recently our projects are extended uh, by many other amazing musicians that we collaborate with. Um, there is a special project that we are now in the middle of um, and it's called uh, Spotkanie Zystrish in Ukrainian language um, and we invite many different musicians with whom we perform our material and one of those musicians who is from um, Ukraine as well as Dana is Igor Hnydm our uh, very, very close friend. And our material was also played uh, with wonderful um, um, other amazing friends, Grzegorz Tarwit, uh, who plays on piano, Krzysztof Dys, who plays on piano as well. Uh, and also we played with uh, Israeli musicians, uh, Shahar in Natan and Inbar in Natan, and Dima Gorelik. So um, the music, um, we, be, we believe that, you know, this, this, these songs, they sound completely differently with um, whoever we play with, because everybody brings their own experience to the, these, those, this music. And something that connects us all is improvisation. And we meet all together in improvisation. It's like a special language language of connection, language where we can, you know, uh, express something unspoken. Um, for me, these meetings are wonderful and uh, very important. So you have a number of musicians uh, uh, collaborating with you, with uh, four or five that are permanent members, the, uh, the pianist Jan Smoczyński and the Bashis and, and a few more that you just mentioned. Now, how do you... Uh, <laughs> uh, how do you solve the logistics? Uh, yeah, I gather that at least some of those musicians live in different places. To begin with, you live in, uh, I don't know, uh, Poznan, or, no, or, or in, in Warsaw, but Dana lives in Wrocław, so you have to commute quite a bit. Uh, but maybe, well, somehow you manage to do it. Let's move to your discography. You have a few albums uh, that you can share with us and, and, and tell us about it. Uh, first, our long album, it's a uh, Kolendy Shidrivki, it's a carol and wishing song, 
one of the oldest tradition from uh, Ukrainian and Poland. Uh, the other our album it's uh, Vesnyanki, it's a spring songs, and uh, third our album it's uh, uh, summer song. So uh, we try with all our albums show how a year in look uh, in uh, our cultures. Uh, for us also it's very inter interesting um, music. Uh, because uh, traditional music have a special classification and one of the most interesting and uh, most beautiful and mo and all the song this is a calendarian song first uh, uh, this song is uh, co uh, connection with the sun and different uh, period of uh, uh, sun condition how faithful are you to original compositions? You, you, what you practice is uh, sort of a jazz music, actually, improvisational music and uh, uh, traditional folk music, I think more often than not, is performed in a very faithful, faithful way to the original sources. Is that, do I get it correctly? Well, actually, I think that it's a matter of uh, balance. So when you take those songs and you work with them, you have to be really careful because you still want to leave, you know, this unique, uh, um, this the core of traditional uh, song that you you uh, uh, want to uh, work with. Um, you try to, at the same time. Um, you know, we what is the most important, which is this energy, this raw energy, the, the simplicity of uh, expression, um, mm. simplicity of um, you know of your uh, of something that you can just call uh, feelings that is common for all of us, emotions. You know that is very very unique for traditional music, and then. Um, we would like to, of course, add something fresh, you know, this is our interpretation. So obviously, you know, improvisation and, you know, just harmony that we really like to, you know, like, um, you know, we like to intertwine uh, traditional music with, with, with jazz. But still, it's, it's about, you know, finding the balance. So it's still this energy and, uh, and the message. Okay. Now, your most recent album was released uh, just about two years ago, recorded three years ago. Uh, any particular plans for the future? We are uh, waiting for new opportunities to show our music in USA. It's our huge plan. Very, uh, very soon we hope to see you there. In the United States? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, but we uh, play some concert in Poland. Uh, we would like to visit Ukraine uh, with our music, with our concert. We would like to support in uh, spirit by uh, Ukrainian people also. And we uh, uh, try to do the best here in Poland, uh, join to different charities, uh, concert and organization. And we uh, think about new album. We uh, recorded some stuff. Uh, Carolina and Carolina it's a uh, fresh mama mother so it's a uh, change also our uh, uh, topic uh, me also ma uh, mom so we try to find and uh, find new music which uh, can help us like a mother as a musician as an artist mm. Now, uh, you do not limit yourself to uh, this Babushki ensemble project. Both of you, Carolina and you, Dana, have uh, some other projects. That would be the last uh, question. And in very brief uh, words, can you tell us and shed some light on what else are you doing? Starting maybe with you, Dana? Um, I have the other, the other band called Dagadana. It's also a mix of uh, Polish and Ukrainian music. 
and we have five albums and travel a lot with my band. Uh, also in Wroclaw I have choir, uh, Spivacha Banda, it means singing band. And uh, we uh, um, in inspired of uh, traditional music from different countries. I'm, I'm working in many different projects uh, and uh, I hope soon I will be um, able to share more details about uh, uh, those, those um, works uh, I'm involved in. Uh, but my main um, project for now is my solo album. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's an album with string quartet, um, of, with uh, guitar, where also Rafał Sarnecki performs. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I wrote uh, my own lyrics uh, to all the songs that you find on this album. Um, the, the lyrics are in Polish. Um, they are my, comp my compositions, but also compositions of uh, American uh, composers that are very uh, well known in, in, in the jazz world. Uh, that is uh, David Binet, uh, Matt Brewer, and also Japanese composer Hiromi. Uh, there is also one composition of Rafał Sarnecki uh, and I can only add that uh, this is a very important uh, uh, album for me because um, I, I, I tried to find um, words for um, you know something that um, is inside of me for a long time. Um, I'm usually not very um, let's say you know um, I wasn't very active uh, if it comes to the concerts for several years uh, because of the pandemic because other because of other uh, things like being a mom and uh, mm -hmm. I spent this time on reflection of uh, understanding what I want to do with music what music is for me and um, I the lyrics I wrote uh, are coming from that place. And I'm really, really happy to share with you soon the, the, my work. <laughs> that sounds very exciting, ambitious, and challenging, all, <laughs> all of the above. We uh, have to conclude this program, so I wanted to thank, thank you very much, both Carolina and Anna, for uh, accepting invitation to this program. And I also wanted to thank uh, our audiences at Kosciuszko Foundation TV YouTube channel. Uh, hope you enjoyed this program and we'll be back soon uh, with new programming. Thank you very much and all the best to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.